Hi, I'm Addie Robertson with The Verge, and I'm here at Google I.O., Google's big annual development conference. And I'm checking out Project Tango. So Project Tango is a sort of science fictional augmented reality project that Google's been working on for a while, but it's now getting a little bit closer to becoming a real thing, because Google's going to put it in the very first consumer product. It's a phone. Uh, it's from Lenovo, and it's coming out this summer. So here at I.O., they've got a handful of experiments that can show you exactly what Tango can do. Uh, so we're going to go check them out. So we got to try six Project Tango experiments. The first one is Lowe's Vision. Um, Lowe's really likes to do augmented reality systems to show what people's houses might look like with Lowe's furniture or appliances. You can look around, it can sense where a blank space would be that you could put, say, a fridge. You can place that fridge there and then you can sort of move it around, rotate it, see what it would look like, and then obviously buy it. Wayfair View is a little bit like Lowe's in that it wants you to buy furniture, but it wants you to be able to see what it looks like beforehand. So again, you find some blank floor, you put a chair down or a stool or a table, uh, and then you can walk around it. It's not perfect with its mapping, but it's good enough to give you a general idea of what the room would look like with this furniture. Uh, and obviously there you can click through, you can add it to your cart and buy it. And then you've got Constructor. So you can bring your camera up here. Uh, you scan a room and then it will give you a sort of navigable 3D version of that room and then it will smooth it out so it actually looks pretty good. You can also play some games with Tango. Uh, one of these is World from a studio called Phenomena and what's notable about it is that one of the developers is the creator of Katamari Damacy. So it brings that same sense of, sort of weird whimsy that you're placing things around the room, but you're not really playing a traditional game. You're just putting down a bunch of objects and seeing how they interact with each other. Um, it's much more like a sandbox, which is great, because if you're trying to actually build a game in your room, like make characters jump along your tables, that's often really boring and sort of difficult to structure. But if all you're doing is basically playing with Legos or toys, that's pretty cool. Uh, the last thing we checked out is called Dinos Among Us, and that is exactly what it is. Uh, it's a way that you can place pretty realistic looking dinosaurs and then you walk around them and you can look at animations uh, and you can scale them. So obviously Tango is not the kind of augmented reality we mean when we talk about HoloLens or something that realistically looks like a hologram. And it's still kind of rough. Uh, things are going to jump around a little bit. It's not like you will actually mistake them for real things in the environment. Um, but for that, it's pretty cool. Uh, they can come up with a lot of creative applications for it. And it's actually great in a situation where what you're trying to do is use it as a tool instead of an entertainment product. So again, we're going to be seeing it in the wild this summer, so we'll get to see if other people think the same thing. If you liked this, you can check us out at youtube.com slash The Verge, where we've got a whole lot more.